Okay, um, here is another related rates problem. We have a situation where a ladder is leading up against the wall. The ladder is 26 feet long, and we're pulling the base of the ladder away from the vertical wall at a rate of 4 feet per second. And when the base of the ladder is 10 feet away from the wall, what we want to know is how fast is the top part of the ladder falling downward. So the way we have this sketched out, the floor will find the x-axis, the vertical wall is the y-axis, and we know what the x to t is. That's four. I won't write down the units, I'm too lazy, but everything is in feet, and the time was expressed in seconds. Um, so you know what dx dt is, what we need to find then is dy dt, when x equals 10. So we need to find an equation that relates x and y. And if we can take the derivative of that equation with respect to t, maybe we get an expression for dy dt that we can solve for and hopefully get our answer. So looking at the diagram here, clearly x squared plus y squared has to equal 26 squared. So here's our relationship. And now we're going to take the derivative of this with respect to time. We want to find the y dt and dx dt. So we're going to do some implicit differentiation. We'll have 2 times x times dx dt. Plus 2 times y times dy dt. will equal, this is a constant, so that period, of course, is going to be 0. We can divide 2 by 2, and those go away. So we have x times dx dt, and we know what that is. That's 4. So we have 4x plus y times dy dt. equals zero. And we were asked to find dy dt when x equals 10. So this would be 40. Plus y times dy dt equals zero. And we haven't put in a value for y yet. So let's go back up to here. X is 10 feet. Our hypotenuse is 26 feet. So Y, that will equal the square root of 26 squared, which is 676 minus 100. Um, that's 576. That we're taking the square root of, which comes out to be equal 24. So y is equal to 24 when x equals 10 feet. So we have 40 plus 24 times dy dt equals 0. And let's see, can we divide this both sides by 8? That will give us i plus 3 times dy dt equals 0. So it looks like dy dt will equal, bring this over to here, 
I will have minus five thirds feet per second. Now, that's what the y dt equals at the moment in time when x equals 10 feet. So, we're pulling the ladder away from the wall, and just when the base was 10 feet away from it, this here, at that precise moment in time, the top part of the ladder is falling downward at a rate of minus 5 thirds feet per second. So, that's it. Uh, again, hopefully there's an illustration here that for all these related relates problems, it's the same thing. Whenever possible, draw a diagram, write down what information you're given, and then the next step is going to be look at the variables that you have and find some relationship between them. Here it was very simple for us. It was just this. So we could take derivatives and eventually solve for this, except that particular value. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Hope it was helpful to you. Um, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try and work some more problems.